the labyrinth that American culture became in the 1960s and 70s, Hunter S. Thompson just might have been at the center. And in a way, that center still holds. Straddling the worlds of journalism and literature, politics and rock and roll, sports and film, Thompson found himself at the intersection of some interesting times. But interesting times are the oldest of curses, and mazes have monsters in them too. Eventually, the permanent dress for the good doctor became Owl Farm at Woody Creek, Colorado, a literary salon and a firing range, and a home base for his family, his first wife Sandy and their son Juan. But perhaps what Hunter Thompson liked to call the proud highway really started to open up for him when they ran him out of his own hometown. He was born in Louisville, Kentucky on July 18, 1937, the first son of Virginia Ray and Jack Robert Thompson, and was later joined by brothers Davison and Jim. The Athenaeum Literary Society gave Hunter his first readers, but he was already envisioning an audience on a much larger scale. So when officially invited to do so, he left Louisville at the age of 17 with a wild ambition, a fierce discipline, and the absolute conviction that he could write his way forward from there.